Hello, all you fan freaking tastic people. It's your boy MB Set. I'm coming back with Final Fantasy 16. And in the last one, we did a whole bunch of questing and side questing and hunting and oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, things fall apart. Return to the hideout and speak to auto. We're just gonna continue with the main quest because if I remember correctly, we could not do the side quest payback for the time being. It was locked. Or something. Some, 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 some. But yeah, we are hopefully getting close to the end of the game. From what I saw, it was like 71% in. I need to hurry up because Rebirth is around the corner. Was wondering when you turn up. Hellos from all our friends thanking you for your timely intervention. How is it you always manage to arrive at just the right moment? Luck, I suppose. Any word on the rest of the realm? Hmm, let's see. Storm's still crying out for Mother Crystals. The nations are still in chaos. And the skies are still the color of a kick in the kidneys two days on. So... Nice! Sounds like a good time. Five. Amazing times! We knew yes. this was gonna happen. Well, not the bleeding skies part. But you take my point. Now's not the time to second guess yourself. He's trying to tell Now's us. The time. To visit the infirmary. Taya says your brother's awake. Ooh, Joshua. Thank you, Otto. Yeah, shit has hit the fan pretty badly. What's up, bro? Oh, what's up, Dion? So it was not Sylvester, but Olivier who served as Ultima's puppet. And when Dion learned of this, he sought to slay the fiend. <sighs> Only for his father to take the spear that would have freed him. Enough to drive a man to madness. Small wonder he hasn't stirred. I would be afraid to wake. Yeah. Had I but reached out to him sooner, warned him of the threat Ultima posed, but now, both an empire and her prince lie broken. Joshua, what do you know of Ultima? <laughs> How? A lot! A heck of a lot! Very little, I'm afraid. Oh, really? Despite my best efforts. Oh. 18 years ago, as I lay buried beneath the rubble of Phoenix Gate, it was not death who came for me, but another. And it was while in my rescuer's care, I first heard of Ultima. I've been chasing his shadow ever since. Ultima is driven by some deep, dark purpose, and for whatever reason, it would seem you are crucial to his designs. He will stop at nothing to have you, even if that means toppling an empire. Humanity. But why me? What possible use could I be to such a creature? <laughs> Look at yourself, bro. That is one of many answers that have eluded me. Yet, I am certain of this. It is not mere chance. You were chosen for a reason. All dominants carry within them the might of an icon. Nigh limitless power that is at once acutely limited. I wield fire, and only fire. And I only ice. Eight wardens for eight elements. However... You, Clive. Exactly. You are different. You're special. Oh, well, thank you! Your abilities begin with the flames of Ifrit. But they do not end there. The fact Ifrit can even exist goes against everything we thought we knew of dominance. Perhaps Ultima has been waiting for one such as you, whose potential is truly limitless. I've encountered that thing several times now. If it or he, as you say, needs me, why hasn't he claimed me as he did the boy? Were I to hazard a guess, I'd say the two of you are somehow incompatible. His mind not properly attuned to your body. Mm -hmm. His mind? Mind 
Awareness, spirit, call it what you wish. But I believe Ultima to be an embodiment of the concept. This is why I struggle and fail to contain him here inside me. I'm sorry. Inside you. <laughs> no! With every setting sun, I feel my strength wane. And though the Phoenix's flames mend the prison I have made for Ultima, they do so at a cost. We must find a means to bring an end to him before I meet my own. What were you thinking? Mm, his defense. It was that or let him take Clive. Exactly. And I've always had a soft spot for my brother. Yeah, yeah. That Look. doesn't mean you should sacrifice yourself to save me. <coughs> Joshua. Also. Clive. It's Gav. S -s oh, Sa saving saving Clive probably saved a lot of people at the same time, right? Of at the gates of <laughs> oh, okay. Let's go save our buddy Cl Gav. Well, what's the short of it? Uh, it's all tired, told you. The capital of the free cities is under siege by an army of monstrosities. The city guard are doing their best to stem the tide, but numbers ain't on their side. What of Lord Byron and Mid? Were they able to escape? No, but they're all right for now. They're hiding with Gav at midship. We have to get them out of there. Mm. And we shall. Otto, prepare a stolas. Tell Gav to stay exactly where he is. Understood. Vivian, what's the swiftest route to the Free Cities? <laughs> that sounds like a question for the map. Look here. This road, through Tabor, should provide the least trouble. Good. What a coincidence. Tabor is exactly where I'm bound. Joshua, <laughs> that <laughs> is where you should be bound. Bar with a bar! You think I told him the exact same thing? Bang, bang, diggy, diggy. Well, not such a talented healer, I would surely have been inclined to agree. But does that mean anything you want? But, thanks to her ministrations, I feel I may safely rejoin my attendant, who was to wait for me in Tabor if we became separated. All right, we travel together. Clive! If he stays close to me, he'll be fine. Thank you. Brother. I'll look after him. Oh, this game knows how to give you goosebumps just using music. Like their timing. Oh, and the arrangements. And the 20,000 fucking side quests. Oh. Why so? Oh, and more hunts and. Yeah. Oh, I just want to do the main story. I'm trying to finish this game before Rebirth comes out. Oh, we just did a freaking three hour ish recording. Just that. Ah! Okay, well, in that case, let's just. Let's just do everything. I don't think I'm ready for the S rank hunts yet. I'm probably going to save those like for last or something. I might attempt one again, but not the same one. Say it like C, S rank, Zvara. Okay, well, that's the one I attempted already. So we got like a new one. South of Tabor Delmicchio. A team of curse breakers traveling through Tabor to the fields of Korova were met by a group of hunters from the village who warned them not to stray too far from the main road, where in a gully not far hence rested a pack of wolves. That even such practice hunters as they would not dare to wake, despite the fine luster of the animal's pelts. Too many of their friends have succumbed to temptation only to be torn limb from limb. Ooh. It's kind of bad. We still don't know where this one is, the Breaker of Worlds. And we'll have to beat this fucker at some point, too, right? Hmm. Okay, but south of Tabor Dalmicia. In the the of a mom and now places how may i help you today clive uh by Your giving me donations Ooh. 
1,500 ability points. You earned this. I don't think I care about the rest of the stuff, but... 1,500 ability there, points? Uh, yes. Why, thank you. Okay, what's the... Okay, I was gonna uh, say, what's the quickest way to get to places? To quest places. All right, what, 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 what we got here? A humble request. Master Clive, I apologize for the sudden and untoward gesture. A circumstances has forced me to seek immediate aid, and there is none other to whom I may turn. Your most esteemed lord uncle has presented me with a task most vexing, and I fear I am wholly unable to perform to his vaulted expectations, namely due to a marked lack of martial aptitude on my part. To wit, I am but a manservant, not a mercenary. While I maintain the fitness ample to attend to the needs of a manor, the attending of bandits in back alleys, I am sorely ill-equipped. If it pleases, if it please you, my lord, a priority come and see me at Malta's rest, where I shall proceed to explain my predicament in full. Sebastian Rutherford, Senec Cotelord, Baron Rosfield. Rutherford? Wasn't that the name of my uncle's manservant? That's what he said. Be at Martha's rest. Why not? Why not? Smooth light butler. <laughs> oh, I love some of the names and stuff in here. It's pretty. It's pretty cool. It's funny. It's witty. Is that Goots? Hey Goots. What's up, bro? What am I gonna do? I don't know. An hour for an hour? Is everything all right, Goots? You seem more discomposed than usual. Oh, I don't know what that means, but, but I'm in a bit of a muddle. Oh, I think Nan might be in trouble and she's... <laughs> Wait, what? It's all right. You can tell me. <sighs> there was a trader came <laughs> by here. One of our usuals, like... Said he'd heard some rotten rumors about her down Dallymill Way. Folk are saying she's been selling to bandits and cutthroats and that. I mean, she's fond of a chance to make a coin or two, aye, but, but she'd never do business with baddies. Especially not the kind who go hurting people who haven't done out. I wanted to ask her about it myself, but I'm scared she'll give us a tongue lashing. She'd never give your tongue a lashing, though, would she? Yes! Don't worry. I'll speak to her. I'm not afraid of a lashing. Oh, thanks, Clive. You'll let me know what she says, won't you? Of course. I'm sure it's all just a misunderstanding. Something like that. Something like that, yes? Alright, well, let's go talk to Karen then. Mm hmm. Sup, Karen? Lady Karen. How's business? Not nearly as foul as the weather. You're doing good trade then? Both in and out of the hideaway? Hmm. Can't complain. Wait. She's on to us. What Run! exactly are you getting at? Not once in five long years do you pay my affairs half a care. But here you are today raking me over the coals like a bloody... Popotto? The fuck's a Popotto? asking. Out of interest. <laughs> All right. I'm here because I was told that certain rumors have been circulating. Uh, about you selling weapons to brigands. Oh, are ah, you? Yeah. And who was it who knows me so well as to tell tales of my evil exploits? I, I... I didn't exactly hear firsthand. All I know is that someone in Dalamil has been spreading word to that effect. And what? You believe it? You think I'm profiting off the blood of innocence, do you? Look, I've done things I'm not proud of. Might be there were a time when I turned a blind eye to the wretchedness of the world so I could line my pocket. But that woman is no more. 
and you'd know that if you'd ever paid the slightest bit of notice. You're right, Lady Karen. I apologize. It was wrong of me to doubt you. No, it was. Now, I reckon you've got better things to do than pointing your do-gooding finger at a poor old woman. Of course. Good day. So... Yeah. Turn to Goose, I was gonna say, it's probably gonna have to talk to Goose. But I'm probably gonna... I'm, I'm gonna assume that this quest is gonna go along the lines that we're gonna look for someone who is actually spreading false rumors about our Karen! I spoke with Lady Karen. What did she say? That the rumors were unfounded. And that I was a fool for thinking they might hold any truth. Along with some other things that made her feelings clear. <laughs> <laughs> While it sounds like she may have done things she regretted in her past, she says those days are behind her. Oh, well, that's good. I knew Nan wasn't caught up in out bad. But why would people say she was? What did she ever do to them? It's not right. No, it's not. But people do things for all sorts of reasons. Perhaps we'll never know. Well, I'm going to find out. That trader, he said they were all talking about her in Dalimil. Yeah. So that's where I'm going. I'll find someone who'll tell me. You'll see. Let's go, sure that's wise? Yes. Whoever's spreading these rumors means Karen ill. Well, yes. Oh, right. But we still but need... That's why you'll be coming with me, isn't it, Clive? Yes. <sighs> I suppose it is. We do gotta figure that out. We gotta stop that madness! Karen's not evil, she's just mean. Or like Raven in Teen Titans Go would say, she's mean. She's nice by being mean. Right? Like that time where you gotta tell people, stop acting like fools! Mean! She's also being nice by Seems telling people not to act like fools. Appetite. Oh, that blasted book! Right? Anyways, Polly! You put me in this situation, Clive. You can bloody well get me out of it. I need a hand with a recipe. Wait, what? Are you sure it's me you're looking for? I'm not much of a cook. What did I'm I do? all the cook will be needing. Thank you very much. What I want from you is a little of your time, right? Oh, and uh, perhaps your sword. You remember Ivan's stew? Yeah, I was about I... to ask about well, that, yes. Despite the look of the thing and that awful stench, people wolf it down. <laughs> So I thought I'd try making one of these supposed masterpieces myself. Had a peek at the book and gave it a go, but, well. It wasn't as straightforward as you'd hoped. Yvonne had the same problem. Yeah, but this is my blooming kitchen, and I will not be outdone. So if you don't want to be seen as playing favorites, I suggest you lend me a hand. All right. Yeah, I did help Yvonne. I've never been one to play favorites, Molly. And I would be only too happy to lend you a hand. So, what's on the menu this time? A fried mortress of Skyworm. That's one heck of a name, innit? Recipe seemed easy enough to an old mm, hand like myself. Worm. High in protein. Thought I'd followed it to a T. Yes, Only, I, yes. turns out Skyworm livers and Drake's mint are not what I thought they were. At least I hope they're not, given the rancid mess they made. Ivan said the recipes in the culinary pilgrimage date back centuries. Who's to say the ingredients even exist anymore? Well, wow. that's a question for a scholar, wouldn't you say? Perhaps you know of one? Kindly old fella who haunts the shelves, maybe? Fine. I'll go and speak to Harpocrates. Perhaps he'll know something. And oh, if he does, I'll see if I can find your ingredients for you. You do that. Lest we forget, you've got a reputation to uphold. To be outdone, prioritize the quest. Mm. Oh, hard pocket trees! I know. There's a storm coming, Sid. Sid, perhaps you can help me solve a mystery. I can certainly mm. try. Who's gone missing this time? It's not who, but what. Mid scales. The ones she made for her workshop. I borrowed them to teach the little ones about weight, and shortly after the lesson, well, 
They vanished. Oh shit, trying to do My drugs. My first thought was that they'd taken them off somewhere to play, but when I asked, they swore they had nothing to do with their having disappeared. Oh yeah, they just want to weigh their Which grams. Which certainly means they had everything to do with it. Probably a cocaine operation or something. Hello, Govna. Where were the drugs going? Well, let me to help. Perhaps a visit from Sid will jog their memories. <laughs> I think it just might. Thank you. I don't like to imagine that my pupils would lie to me. But if they have, I'll have no choice but to discipline them accordingly. They were in the atrium when I last saw them. As always. On balance, yes. Prioritize Zequess. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, let's talk to Harpocrates! That's, his, that's how I see his name from now. Horseman Harpocrates. I've come to pick your brain if you don't mind. It's about the book you lent Ivan. Ah, Valicia, a culinary pilgrimage, a classic. One of my favorites, in fact. The young man did a wonderful job with the Chancellor's stew. I do hope we shall be able to sample more such marvels in due course. That's actually why I'm here. I don't suppose you know where I might find Skyworm livers and Drake's mint. Ah, yeah. so the fabled Sanbriquois delicacy is next on the menu. Delightful. The descriptions of fried mortress never fail to make my mouth water. Yeah, you do you, bro. Now, <laughs> Skyworm is a somewhat antiquated name for the wyvern, their ground livers being the paste from which the mortress is made. Dragon livers. <sighs> How very Sambraquois. One would have thought the disciples of Bahamut would have a touch more reverence for their icon's brethren, but apparently not. I believe the specific dragon the recipe demands is the blueback wyvern, said to be the very color of the sea beside which it resides. So we know where to look for our liver. But what about the drake's mint? Saint's bonnet in contemporary parlance, a herb which grows along the North Reach coast. I gather that one can locate the cheerful yellow flowers by their heady scent alone, so I'm sure you'll have no trouble finding them. I may add, that people once believed game was best served with the flora that sustained it in life. In which regard, fried mortress of Skyworm is undoubtedly a typical dish of the time. Meaning that if I find one, I find the other. To Northreach then. Best of luck, Clive. And do save me a bite once the dish is complete. Mm, yeah, you can, yeah, yeah, you can enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah, liver. Mm, nah. Mm, mm, mm. Nope. Nope. Where are the kids? Oh, all the way back there. Oh, jeez. Seems the hideaway has lost its appetite. Yeah, I do eat meat sometimes. Not a, not often though. Like if I'm being. You know, invited for dinner or something, and they're serving meat. I'll eat meat. Sometimes I'll buy meat for myself, hot dogs, bacon. Not often, though. What do you reckon we should do? The vast majority of time is more of a vegetarian diet that I have. All half built cheese eggs, stuff like that, right? Sandy's energetic today. Sid! Out of your studies, I see. And what is that? It's not a set of scales, is it? No. Of course it isn't. Well, not anymore, it's not. <gasps> oh! Ah! Just how long <laughs> have We're sorry. But we didn't break them. We just dis dismembered them. <laughs> just like Miss Mididol showed us. Miss Mididol. Why would she have you dismembering her creations? Because that's the only way to become a ninja near. Ha! Miss Mididol said. What the hell is the big shit? Is it works, <laughs> and then is break it. it. And put it back together again. Well, then your work is already half done. Carry on. Uh, about that. The taking apart was easy enough, but it's the putting back we can't work out. Speak for yourself. The heavy thing goes at the bottom. Then. Oh, you gotta love kids. Then. Oh, you gotta fucking love kids. Um. You three need to learn to take responsibility for your actions. 
So let's have a look at these parts with fresh eyes, shall we? Right. Ninja Near. I got everything I, here. Man, we gotta keep that one. Part of Miss Mitterdahl's oh. scales. Every piece has its own role to play, and <laughs> each is just as important as the others. This needs to if become a meme. If one of them is missing, the scales won't work. So let's think about what those roles might be. You already know one of the pieces. The body. Its role is to support everything else. But what of the others? Uh, the arm. This is called the arm. Why do you suppose that is? It doesn't look much like an arm. You're right. It looks more like a wing. <gasps> like a chocobo wing! You've ridden a chocobo before, haven't you, Sid? Will you teach me to ride one one day? I'll think about it. Now, what do arms do? Hold things. So wait, maybe this arm holds things too? Good thinking. You're on the right track. Like, right. you mean there's four pieces? There's fucking four pieces. They couldn't figure this shit out. It's kind of disappointing, though. Uh, you'd think they would be at least a little bit smarter than this, right? I don't know. Maybe I need more experience with kids. I don't know. These round parts are called the pans. You all know what a pan is, don't you? I do. Molly uses them in the kitchens to fry bangers. But these aren't for frying bangers, you idiot. They're for weighing stuff. But what if I wanted to weigh goots? I don't think you'd fit on that little thing. <laughs> Probably not. What are the chains for? Holding the pans up? Well spotted. Which means something must hold the chains up in turn. <sighs> this tiny piece is what's called a cogwheel or gear. Have you ever seen one before? I have. Miss Minadel's dungeon is full of them. Most are on the floor. She puts them in all her inventions. They spin round and round and round and round and. That's right. They're very useful when you want to make things move. Do you remember if there was anything on the scales that moved? I remember the arm moved when I tried weighing an apple. And then somebody ate it. Not my fault. You shouldn't have tried weighing it before lunch. You know what part's supposed to move and how it's supposed to move. So, let's put the pieces together first, see what doesn't move, and then stick the cogwheel to that. Not a bad idea. You see? It's not so difficult. So, now that we've taken stock of the parts and learned what they do, what do you think? I think we've got it. Then here's what we'll do. You tell me what goes where, and I'll put the scales together. These... Well, obviously you need to start with the body. All the other pieces fit onto it, don't they? And the arms go on the body, just like real arms. Or wings, if you're a chocobo. <laughs> and then the arms hold the pans by the chains. Very good. Let's see if that works. There. All finished. Please tell me it's gonna be awful. Aww. Yes! We did it! Well, with Sid's help. <laughs> I'm missing the gear, though. Oh, I just put the pieces together. It was you three engineers who showed me how. Ninjaneers! That's right. We're Miss Middledore's hairs. Her hairs? Yeah, hairs for the future. She's showing us her secrets now, so we can help out the hideaway when we're older. What do you think, Sid? Are you almost ready? Sure, yes. With a little more help from Miss Middledore and Miss Shirley, I'd say it won't be long at all. <laughs> you hear that? It won't be long. Until then, though, do try to be honest with Miss Shirley. Hey, look! We never used the cogwheel! You don't think Sid forgot about it, do you? Nope. But he did it on purpose.
or maybe he maybe he did forget about it and wasn't sure <laughs> so i don't know if i should be annoyed by these quests or not but you i Yes, I've heard you many times. I heard the Emperor was impaled. But uh, I'm a, I'm a bit of a fan. I like slice of life animes and stuff like that. I find they're they're good. It's fun. It's relaxing sometimes. It's a different vibe. So in a way, I don't mind these quests because it shows just the the normal lives of people and the relationships and stuff like that. And. You know their contributions to the hideaway or whatever right and you know that mid is trying to invoke curiosity in these kids so that they, they would eventually become in the in the future ah, engineers but at the same time i just want to finish this game but i have those two side quests would that be thunder just without side quests well, did you solve the mystery it was as you thought. We don't get the slice of life. The children had the scales. Yeah. Or you know, I'm, 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 they dismantled them to see how they worked. Oh, no. Mid will have my head. Thankfully, she won't. This might even have been her idea. Although I was the one who ended up teaching the lesson. I'm so sorry, Sid. I know how busy you are. I shall see that the children are properly punished. Why? Please, there's no need. Yeah. Mid seems to have taken the three of them under her wing. She's even calling them her heirs. No, heirs. She'd have them follow in her footsteps. And her father's. I see. Yes. Sid, do you know why Mid has been spending so much time at the hideaway of late? Nope. She told me it was because her studies have been interrupted by events in Canva. Is that not true? No, it isn't. The university offered her a commission. In exchange for full tuition, room, and board, they asked her to oversee the design of several new war engines. Yeah. To anyone else, it would be an opportunity. But to Mid, who lost both her parents to war, it was a bitter pill. One she was none too keen to swallow. Mm. But that should come as no surprise. She's only ever cared about bringing people hope. The very last thing war can be said to do. Which explains her airs. She's working to give them a better life. And so should I. What's the odd engineering lesson? Ah, oh, you've given them far more than that. And I'm sure they're very grateful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, good on good on mid though, right? She she's 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 a good girl. But it, she Shirley just said something that makes me curious about something. She lost both her parents to the war, but I was wondering when next you'd visit. I don't know who her mother is. I have compiled some new entries. If you would like to see them. I have quite the find for you today. Mm, 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 mm. I don't care about those if ones. If you have a question for me, I, I want be happy to peoples of interest. I want mid. Where is mid? Mid! Oh. Midadal Telemon, daughter of Sid, a student of, and of engineering at the University of Camber. From a young age, mid shows passions, blah, 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 blah. I don't care about any of that. First encounter. Ooh. It doesn't tell us yet. Probably because it's not, has not been revealed who her actual mother is. Okay. You are always welcome, Clive. Or maybe her mother is somebody who died before all of these events and we just never There's met her. Coming, it's just we know she has no mother. Because it would kind of be weird if she had no mother. Right? I don't think nature works that way. Where am I going? Nowhere. There's nothing else here to do. So, do you know what that means? We're on the road to Viridian City again. Oh, I still can't do... I can't even do all the side quests and stuff. 
I need to go straight to... Oh, yeah, because shit is happening. So I guess kind of makes sense that we need to go and, like, save the people and stuff like that. So... The Crozit... 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 Crozite... The K-R-O-Z double... double I-T. I'm gonna say double I. I don't care what you... what you say about that. Echoes! Mm-hmm. A wind blasted sprawl of bottomless ravines. Latest. The teast. La ice. Oh, it's like a latte with ice. Lot iced. <laughs> with a colossal fault. A float, Sam. The falling of a people falling. Okay. Okay, sure. 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 Let, let's just, just fucking go. I should just fucking go, right? Come on, Matt. Wasting precious time here. Central Dalmikia. What's up, Jill? Oh yeah. Oh, we got a We got a Joshua with us this time too. Oh, cloak and dagger. Nice. It's like a dream. The four of us out walking like we used to. Yes! Enjoying this, are you? Gav and the others could be in danger as we speak. You're right. I'm sorry. Oh. Yote is a fine scout. If Canva was attacked, she all right, let's me see. Yeah, so the fields of Korova. So somewhere in here is the hunt that we are looking for. Oh, there's a there's a quest available there. And we got to go here. Already have begun gathering information. Tabor isn't far. We should pick up the pace. Yeah. Come on, Clive. Just like Joshua said this is a dream, the four of us together. Yes, can't you just say like, yes, but let's hurry up, not be a dick about it. Maybe I should have just got on Ambrosia. We can use the ruins to cross the ravine. Assuming they would allow it, the Echoes have a will of their own. Alright, what are my moves that I have? I kind of forgot what my moves I have, though. Oh, I, um, yeah, he has, like, little health left, and I just use a massive move. Yeah. Ooh, I see treasure chest there. How do I get there? Oh, that's a curl. How do I get there? Oh, okay. You know what? There's a treasure chest there. There's a curl. There's a shiny. Let's go on explorations. Go. Yeah. Uh, come on. Come on, Ambrosia. Run like the wind. Mm -mm 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 Safe. What are my moves I have? Scar Cyclone, Will of the Wisp. Okay. <laughs> Take this, fool. Oh, yes. Come on, fool. Ah, oh, dodge! I did dodge, though. Come on. The sadness is real. Can I heal the full health? Can I heal the full health? Will, will you let me heal the full health? I would like to be full health. That'd be great, you know? Oh, get red fool! Oh! Put 
you in the dick. Yeah, I take that. All right, let me see. <laughs> Thresha. Oh. Oh. Um. <laughs> two hit, two hit points, ten defense. Look, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of glad that I decided to go there now. Mm. Just a little Ready bit. Ready, go. Faster. Gotta go fast. <laughs> oh, more of those fuckers. All right. Well, let's go right their faces and shit. You deserve a rest. I don't know what I just did, but I did something. Oh! A bomb! Is it dead? Alright, now it's dead. Come on. Right? 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 All right, never mind. Never mind. I keep forgetting about that move. Too. I seem to keep forgetting a lot about moves and shit. Roger! Let's go. It's going to run. Oh yeah, boy! Tell us about Yote, Joshua. Zura. She's strong-willed, loyal, and deadly with a blade, much like Clive, but with better manners. Oh! Oh, shots fired, Clive. What you gonna do about that? Get wrecked, cool. Um, hello? Oh. Oh, I, I didn't suck up on potions. Hopefully nothing too bad happens, right? Hello! Are you in distress? I do. Where are you off to now then? Bound for the free cities, perhaps? Mmm. Oh. Sure. We're going to Canva. Oh. Um. You alright, bro? <gasps> uh. Here, here's a cookie. Injured. What happened here? Where are your comrades? Ether flood up ahead. Oh shit. Oh shit. It swallowed our camp while we slept. My own men did this. Turned every last one of them. There's a village not far from here. Tabor. The people were kind to us. It's only a matter of time before they won't stand the chance. Now nah, we're going. Don't worry about it. We can't let those monsters reach the. <laughs> oh shit! Is he dead? I'll go. You catch your breath. Here's another cookie. Thank you. Our encampment is up ahead. Just off the track. Yeah, I see the glowy stuff. They must not reach. Tabor. Forgive me. Lord Cooker. 
Rest well, soldier. This is all Ultima's fault. He said the encampment was close. Let's hope the Akashic is still there. Fucking asshole. Another ether flood. They're everywhere now. We can't go around it. Then we'll just have to be careful. Yeah, this is fucking ultimate, right? Can I hit all? Can I get all of them? This? Oh shit! No, my angle was really low. That's up. It's not fun, right? It's not a good time. Yeah, not fun at all. Enough. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Ultima needs to fucking die. Like I said, he needs to choke on his own fucking shit and die that way. Yep. There's someone there! Please, I, I can't move my leg! Oh shit, we're coming, bro. Like we're coming, bro. You're with the battalion? I am. I heard the fighting. Are the others? Taken care of. One of your brothers in arms told me what happened and asked for help. Another survivor? Where is he? <laughs> Tell me. His wounds were too deep. <gasps> hey, you can't move your leg! You liar! He was right to send you. Those things you slew are no longer my brothers. Tabor is safe thanks to you. Here. You've earned it. Can't move your leg, my ass. Stood up. I don't appreciate liars. Mm -mm. You seem familiar. Have we met? No. Nope. You must have me confused with someone else. Yup. Bye. <laughs> Wait. <clears throat> Son of a whore. You're Sid. I was there in Kostnis when you killed my brothers. I was there in Rosalith when you killed my commander. My war with Hugo Kupka is over. I bear no ill will toward those who followed him. And what of my ill will? Coward! Draw your steel. Lord Kupka shall be avenged! So. So, here's my thoughts. I would rather, like, pick, he can barely stand, right? But however, he is a warrior at heart. So, it's not that, like, he's being a fool or anything like that. I get it. I get his point of view. And maybe we shall give him a honorable death. But I don't think, yeah, I don't think, no, he can barely stand. I don't think, Sid, we don't want to kill people, right? That's what we want. We want... A good, better world for everyone. So, unfortunately, I cannot honor his request right now. When your wounds have healed and your head has cooled, come and find me if you must. There you go. Though I hazard your life would be better spent in service of those who need it. Or have you forgotten your oath to the Republic? My oath? What would you know of oaths? A lot. I know how hard they are to keep. Which is why I'm giving you the chance to keep yours. 
No. <laughs> I won't be deceived. All right. Lord Thanks. Kupka told us of your crimes. You are an outlaw. A murderer, not some... <laughs> some... Man. Like you or anyone else. I am nothing like you. But if you're not gonna kill me, then go. Leave! Just know that I will find you, Sid. Someday. Okay. That's fine. Bye. <laughs> what happens with propaganda right well technically we did kill we did kill benedicta but she's a bitch like they're not gods like he wanted to rule he said that they were supposed to rule together like the gods they are they're not gods they're they were assholes right so cool. all right Alright. <laughs> oh, I missed this. Oh, I missed this. Oh, this is. Oh! Oh, Jill, you ruined my fun! Oh, I was torturing the poor bastard. Oh, fucking Jill. Anything around here? Oh, we can attack them. Oh, we can. Oh, we're evil. Oh, poor bastards. This one. It's over. I gotta learn to use Turgle more e as well. I think I keep forgetting to use Turgle. Yeah, I just want to come here to see her for like treasures. And shit, right? But there isn't any. All there is is this big old ravine here. Hmm, pretty water though. Hmm. Not gonna lie though, the whole purplish skies and color over everything kind of gives it a certain beauty. We're nearly there. Have but you been to Tabor before? There are a few places I haven't. Fuck you. So... Where now, Joshua? There is a residence just inside the city gates. She awaits us within. I, I just want to say, Ultima still needs to fuck die. Hello, merchant. Are you buying or uh, selling? Uh, both. Yeah, probably both, yes. Um... Ooh, yep. Yeah. Of course. And the shoulders of giants. Okay. Oh, that's right. We have six potion that's slots now. Oh. Anything else? Oh, I completely forgot about that. Oh, that is fantastic. That is fucking fantastic. Yep. Ah, not bad. It's a deal. Ah, not bad. Mm-hmm. Thank you, good sir. Uh, oops. Okay, yes. I'm sorry. Oh, wait. That's the mayor. Mayor, what do you have to say? What brings you to our humble village, young man? If it's our artisans you're here to see, then please. But do try not to interrupt their work. Yep. Understandable. Yes. I'll bet you five thousand dollars that we're gonna do the main quest here, and then we're gonna have a again a bunch of side quests to do. Well, well, not to do. We can do. Choose not to do. But how can you refuse to do side quests? And bam, what's up? <sighs> Uh, 
Um, my Lord Marquis, it is an honor. Come on. They knew! I am Yote, Knight of the Undying, charged with the protection of His Grace Joshua Rosfield, Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix. Of course. It all makes sense now. Would you care to elaborate? The Undying are loyal servants to the Ducal Throne. Or more specifically, to its heir. They have served our family for generations, albeit from the shadows. Since their inception, they have been tasked with the preservation and enactment of the rites of ancestral communion. After the events at Phoenix Gate, it was the Undying who delivered me to safety. And since the day I left Rosaria, Yote has been my constant companion and protector. Without her sword, I would not have survived my journey across the realm. Rise, Lady Yote. You saved my brother. I owe you a debt I can never repay. I but did my duty. Mm. Come now. Tell us what you've discovered. Your Grace. It is as you feared. The vessel we spied off the coast of the Crystalline Dominion on the night of her fall. It was the Ein Herjar. Beyond any doubt. It's Odin, right? The Black Galleon. Joshua. The Ein Herjar is the Royalist flagship. What business would they have in the Dominion? Uh, upon learning of Walud's involvement in recent events at Drake's Fang, I sensed the malign influence of Ultima, and bid Yote and the Undying look into the matter. We have reason to believe that the Black Galleon weighed anchor shortly after the fighting began, and set a course due south. For Canva. Then it is Waluda knights who besiege the cities. What is left of them? Yes. And the Black Galleon sails up at one man's behest. Barnabas Tharm. Meanwhile! The Agora, the free cities of Kenya. Are we truly safe here in the Agora? The city guard have been paid, if that's what you're implying. All the more reason for them to run. Well, you are free to leave, Lord Minister. It is a free city. Markets abandoned, warehouses aflame, blackened hulls choking every port in the capital. Canva is ruined. The Rome teeters on the brink of chaos, and all you can think about is commerce. <laughs> Forgive us. We were not aware Dalmechia now subsisted on charity. Not quite. How dare you? Ah! Oh. Hi. You're not invited. Please don't come in. Distinguished members of the council. You must forgive his majesty this intrusion. What did you... What is the meaning of this... A trifle crowded, but I fear it will have to serve, my liege. Very well. My colleagues, do you not see? The king, he has come to save us from the Akashic. No, no he's not. He is a gift from the heavens, divine intervention, our very salvation. And of course, if it is compensation he requires, we would be most willing to negotiate a fair price for services rendered. Fools. Your ignorance unbecomes you. Your Majesty, correct me if I'm wrong, but I would swear that the fiends washing the cobbles of Canva with the blood of her citizens wear the colors of Walud. Mm -hmm. Ha! So you do not deny it. Guards, fetter them, and see our guests to the dungeons! 
shit's more shit's Enough. about to happen. The girl is still here, somewhere in the city. Her consciousness fair dripping with her late father's hubris. Mid? A consciousness to which Muthos is inextricably bound and inexorably drawn. See that he is made welcome. Yes, your majesty. Did I miss her? I thought he said she. Her. Come, Muthos. Okay, he is talking about five. Okay. Oh yeah, okay, you know, I was a, I was a Surely tiny bit confused, the but you know, light cannot have something, something you. dark side, right? Something dark side! Mm. And he is the dark side. Now, if we gotta fight Odin, I'm not looking forward for that. I wonder if they put it in like it's a one-hit kill. It's probably gonna be like the other ones where you gotta add, like a DPS check. Like you gotta stop him from casting it. Or if he casts it, it's game over. Because Odin does has a one-hit so no matter that. what, death. How long has Walud been under Ultima's control? How long indeed? Based on what we know of Barnabas's actions, I would guess some few years, mayhap more. But to what end? What does Ultima want? Everything. The tapestry. Show them. Oh, that's Fire here? Flames. That is here. Phoenix Gate, Drake's breath, and now here. But what is it? It is old, ancient, even. Ifrit what remains Risen. of the faith it represents, save what can be gleaned from the image itself. None could tell me what the one in the apodotry meant, even the undying. But I believe it may be the key to discerning Ultima's purpose figure in the center, the one beneath whom the icons congregate, that I believe to be Ultima. He is a god, or at least godlike, his very existence beyond our ken. The icons, and by extension their dominance, are meant to be his subjects, and while some, like Barnabas, have accepted this role, others have rejected it, like you, Clive, which is rather inconvenient, as it appears he needs you most of all. And gods don't like to be disobeyed. No, I don't suppose they do. Was Clive, I wrong? May I tell Yote of the lake? By all means. Yote, I will be accompanying my brother to the free cities. Whilst we are afield, I would have you watch over those Clive has made his wards. Omia lost Delan to his Sag Ilith. Though well concealed, the hideaway lacks trained fighters to defend its occupants should they be discovered. But it is my duty to... As it has ever been my brother's duty, remember. If... if that is your wish, your grace. But please be safe. If aught were to befall you, I... You have my word. I thought she was gonna, he was gonna kiss her on the lips. Come on! Farewell, my lord, my lady. We are in your debt, Yote.
Let's find our friends. But first, <laughs> at least three side quests, right? Right? So, yeah, was I wrong on that? I thought it was like Ifrit and Phoenix, but I guess it's Ultima. Ultima who absorbs all of the icons together, perhaps? It's plain she cares for you very oh. deeply. Oh, and I her, which is why I had to let her go. Uh, no, I want the local map. Ah! Oh, I said at least three. I was wrong. It's only two. All right, then. Let's do them. Opportunity beckons. Who among you... Hello. Is that blade for hire, perchance? Because I have a mind to make a killing. Sure. Figuratively, I hope. Well, yes and no. A passing caravan carried with it a rumor most fortuitous for one in my trade that an elder Dread Evis had been sighted in the fields of Karava. Dread Evis are aggressive beasts. Compelled as they are to acts of violence, few survive to maturity. But those that do develop a hide of phenomenal value. A hide you want to sell? Eventually, yes. Though I would have it tanned first that it might be crafted into marvels the likes of which the world has never seen. Dread Evis skin is a rare thing indeed. But the worked hide of a well-aged beast? Now, that would fetch such coin that Gilbot himself might weep with envy. Mm. Bring me that beast's skin and I will share with you the bounty of our combined labors. Yep. All right. I'll hunt your Evis. Of course you will. When one lives in such troubled times, it is a fool who lets opportunity slip his grasp. Mm -hmm. Leave Tabor through the east gate, but take the path that branches west. Once you reach the checkpoint at Tovany, you are a mere stone's throw from the fields of Karava. I eagerly await your safe and, above all, triumphant return. All right, skin trade. Mm hmm. Where's the. Uh... How do I get up there? I believe these stairs shall do the trick. Careful how you pack that leather. Any crystals? You uh, Finally. No one was paying me the slightest heed. Is something wrong? At the university, the students would hang on my every word. Sadly, this far from home. I'm just a vagrant greybeard. The university? You're a scholar. A specialist in ancient cultures. The most accomplished in all Valisthea, some have said. Not that I look the part in these tattered rags. In my heyday, no obstacle could have kept me from my studies. Yet here I am, a wizened windbag, bested by the many steps of Tabor. The answers I seek lying just beyond my enfeebled reach. Would you do an old man a kindness and brave the stairs in my stead? You'll be amply rewarded, of course. Yeah, I might, I might learn something. Yeah. Climb the stairs and... And memorize a few inscriptions for me. Uh, assuming you know your letters, that is. Some courteous soul is rumored to have carved clues to Tabor's rich history into stones dotted about the village. The three of them, to be precise. One each to the north, south, and east. Okay. Yeah, I'm here in the hope that those carvings might shed light on a riddle I've been pondering for some time. Namely, the otherwise undocumented origins of Tabor's unique people. Uh, people quite unlike those of neighboring lands. I can't promise I'll remember everything perfectly. Remember what you can. I'll piece together the rest. Make for the domed pavilions, and you'll have no trouble finding the stones. You can just bring paper, right? Right? Why not?
So... Oh, okay, so all the stones are here. One there, right? Well, let's go. Let's go to this one. How are those new boots treating you? They're fantastic. Soft as peas. Inspect. Hmm. Guardians of the Crystal, the first stones of Tabor. Sacred hold thy noble blood till ends the mother's labor. No history would be complete without mention of the Mother Crystals. Why won't the sky go back to how it was? I don't like it. So it's these stones Ooh. to Canva. These are candies. Goblin coins. Okay. So he said, okay, so there's one there. He said north, east, and west. Okay. Let's just go around. We'll probably find the other two, right? Mm. Not a scratch on them. Have you noticed the elder has been coughing less? All right. Wanderers of the Golden Plains, lay your roots in stone. With pride, recall thy noble past and make these rocks a home. Okay. What Golden Plains might the wanderers have called home, I wonder? Mommy made the cottage for me. Mm, not entirely sure. Hey, I hope you don't mind. I grabbed this, right? Thank you. Goodbye. Can't blame the beasts for being on edge. What about this one? Children of the hunters, now tillers of the land, reap her promised blessings and give praise her gracious hand. Mm. Farmers must have settled here in Tabor. Yeah. I should speak to the old scholar. Yeah. Before I forget everything I've read. Yep. Yeah, that's all it is. Farmers, they came here. Um, blessed by the Mother Crystal as well, that we destroyed, unfortunately. And instead of hunting, became farmers. That's my understanding of things. Of this, I mean. The engravings were in good repair, considering their age. Oh, what that I could have seen for myself. Oh, come. Don't tease me now. What did you learn of this place and its people? Uh, let's start with the engraving to the south, shall we? Uh, what did it say? Oh, shit. Ah, <laughs> the great good Moogle Guardians. Ah, oh, a Kopo! Now, nah, Guardians of the Crystal. Guardians of the Crystal. The first stones of Tabor. Sacred hold thy noble blood till ends the mother's labor. I'm pretty sure that was it. Yeah. Fascinating. It would seem the founders of this city were descendants of those fallen charged with protecting the mother crystals. But oh, whatever could have driven the guardians so far from their sacred charges, I wonder. The engraving to the north is next, I think. Voyagers of Ashen Ocean, Wanderers of the Golden Plains, Riders of the Snowy Slopes. It was the Wanderers of the Golden Plains. Wanderers of the Golden Plains, lay your roots in stone. With pride recall thy noble past and make these rocks a home. Or, I think that was it, at least. It was. No doubt you're right. There are vestiges of nomadic customs in Tabor its guardian roots could never account for. This is proving most enlightening. Now, for the final stone. Um. Yeah, this one. Now dancing hand in hand. <laughs> Two hunters not dancing enough. Now tillers of the land. Children of the hunters. Now tillers of the land. Reap her promised blessing and give praise her gracious hand. That's all three. And so we add primitive farmers to Tabor's founding peoples, the final piece of the puzzle. Three engravings, one for each of the three peoples to have settled Tabor in ancient times. Guardians of the Mother Crystal, wanderers from across the plains, and last but certainly not least, Hunters turned farmers. Mm -hmm. 
Little wonder it was so difficult to trace the roots of Tabor's culture. Those roots reach down through three distinct traditions. Nonetheless, one cannot help but wonder why this fact is not better known among scholars, given that the stones stand here for all to see. Too many stairs, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> Too many by far. Here, and thank you. Hmm, very nice. It's a very interesting design for this uh, town, though. I like it. Feels like... This feels like the deserts of the Middle East. You know, like where Petra and things like that is. Mixed with, like, Greek, perhaps Roman architecture. Alright. Like holding the natural stones with these pillars and things like that. The round domes and things. Yeah, it's very nice. I like this place. Let's check the map. So now... And we cannot... It's inaccessible. Yeah, we can't... We can't do this quest yet, right? Can we teleport here? I, I was... Why not? Can I... Wait, the world map. Yeah, I can go to places now. Before I continue with the main quest, I could do those other quests. How are those new boots treating you? Let's go do the They're other fantastic. side quest where we go hunt we. that thing image, right? And perhaps at the same time that so we're in the fields of Koroba, we might be able to find a Z hunt. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, I'm not going the right way. No, I am going the right way. Ooh. This connects here. There might be something there. I don't know. Perhaps I need to go that way. I don't know. Yeah, maybe we maybe we do not do that right away though. Um Cyril, how fares the search? Well, your grace, my report shall be with you ere long. Ah, yes. Yote is otherwise engaged at my behest. And the duty of wardenship? Fulfilled. For as you see, I've been reunited with my first shield. I am Cyril. Knight of the Undying and bearer of the Burning Quill. Charged with chronicling the mortal deeds of his grace, Joshua Rosfield. Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix and rightful Archduke of Rosaria. I entrusted Cyril here with overseeing the investigation into Ultima's origins. Mm. Findings from his brothers and sisters afield are delivered here to be collated and catalogued. Just how many Undying are there? Not nearly enough, milady. Yet we are glad to give our all in service to the Phoenix. Such is, and has ever been, our creed. I see. You have your associates, I have mine. But you may now think of them as ours. That won't be a problem, will it? The Phoenix is our sun, and we but the shadows that quicken in his radiance. It is from the darkness that we serve, both him and now you. So have you figured out anything about Ultima? Pray accept this token. More seals! Yeah! <laughs> the Phoenix down, of course. As you bear it, members of our order will reveal themselves unto you. If there is nothing further. No, you are dismissed. Your grace. That is true, since we don't have any party members to, to come for them. revive. We'll later. There's no Phoenix Downs in this game, which there usually is in Cyril all very, um, the Final Fantasy games. You certainly keep strange bedfellows, Joshua. 
bedfellows. What's a bedfellow? The free cities and the sea. Oh yeah, this is the yeah, this is the fork, right? The gilded path. Yes. Oh, it is open now. So we technically could do that. We could do all of the other side quests as well. Oh, I do want to do all the side quests and get rid of them. And then move on to Cloak and Dagger. Make for the free cities of Camber. I'm going to assume as soon as we arrive in the free cities, shit is going to hit the fans. So let's actually just do the side quest and shit, right? Let's go. Yeah. Are you sure this is the right way, brother? No, it's not. It is most definitely not the right way. Thanks, girl. But I do know the way. been to this place before. Hmm. Three desert rooms, isn't it? Bandits? Yeah. Why don't you all just fucking die and shit, right? Can't see. I can't see. The camera angle was weird. Yeah. Asshole. Fuck it. Bandits and shit. The fields of Koroba. Why, well, yes. Let me fight the side quest here. And then we'll run around until we find the the actual hunt, right? Final fucking hunt of some kind. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Avis skin. Wasn't that? I think that's. Oh no, that's that's the quest item that we need. Never mind. The sooner it's off my hands, the better. <laughs> Run like the wind. It's all good. All right. Well, we 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 did the the. We got the hide. Let's turn this Here's one in. Hide. Let's then then let's go look for that. I worried you might never return. Quickly, let me see it. Let's go! Ava skin! Mm hmm. Oh, as supple as a maiden's cheek, yet as adamant as her virtue. 
This is everything I had hoped for, and more. Clearly, my trust in you was not misplaced. You must be a hunter of considerable talent to have bested the beast with nary a scratch. Join me as my honored partner. With my means and your might, we shall be as wealthy as the merchant kings of Zemeckis. I don't plan on making a habit of this. I'm busy enough as it is. Very well. Though I believe fate had a hand in our meeting, it would be unbecoming of me to beg. Do not allow me to keep you from being about your business. Here, for the hide. Quest complete! Skin trade! Bloody hot, a bunch of meteor some meteorites, and something, something dark. Alright, let's go check out that little dead end area. Hmm, I want one as a pet. They seem very gentle and kind. A real family dog, right? Yeah, I'm gonna call this one Bob. Ah, oh, shit. I'm only hitting one. I only hit one. Yup, 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 yup. Yeah! Oh! Oh! Love it! Oh, let's just wreck some fools, right? Oh, yeah, boy! Torgle a lot lately uh, in this uh in this video. Trying to practice my precision six. And I've been getting some pretty six six. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't have messed with the leader of the pack, eh, boy? So I wonder if there is anything else here. Pieces of candies, maybe some treasure. Nah, it was just a hunt. Okay. All right, well, then we move on to the real quest, then. Come on. <laughs> Run like the wind. Or do I turn in... Do I... You know what? Since technically 
at this point, all of these areas are open to us. I do want to do the side quest. Let's get rid of the side quest. Let's do as much side quest as we can. Mm hmm. Yep. And then we'll move on with the real quest. Now, I'm not sure where. Right there. We go. I don't think I have it. The bandits may be known. Prior to rise. But... Left us with. Meh. It's right there. How hard is it going to be to find, right? Exactly. Saying that, that's what I just said. It shouldn't be too hard to find. Just look up. You'll see the guy. Dude is massive. Could be I know something more. Clive, listen. I found someone who says he's heard the rumors about Nan. Have you? Go on. Tell him what you told me. All right. It's like I said. A wizened old crone by the name of Karen's been selling steel to whoever will pay her price. Be they knight or knave. Could be a different Karen. Says the more swords and spears she puts in people's hands, the more war they'll wage. Mm. And the more war being waged, the more call for swords and spears. And who will they all turn to to keep them in steel? Why, the good Reaper herself. <laughs> And you've seen this Reaper at work. Aye, it just so happens I have. Ooh. You'll Ooh. find her right here, Ooh. plying her trade most days. Okay. Here in Delamil. Where exactly? She has a stall here in the market, but if you're not the patient type, you can probably find her at her storehouse on the edge of town. But it'd be a bolder man than me that braved that particular nest of vipers. Now oh, we got it. Feeling bold, traveler. I hope so, for your sake. We got now, this. If that's all, I have places to be. Okay, bye. Sorry to have kept you. You don't think Nan's the Reaper, do you? No. Not unless she's discovered the secret of how to be in two places at once. Eh? What do you mean? Lady Karen hasn't left the hideaway in weeks. So who has been running this stall he spoke of? Good question. I'll go and have a look. And I'll visit this storehouse on the edge of town. All right, but be careful, Clive. Got this. I got this! You too, Goots. Over yonder, okay. Over yonder we shall go! Religion? Yeah, the Southern Velcroid Desert. Right there, right? Yes. Yes. Time to brave the viper's nest. Yeah, this is where we met Otto for that black sand. Mm-hmm. Just you, is it? <laughs> Thought I might have laid it on a bit thick. It was a fairly unconvincing tale. So, what now? That's up to you. Die a slow death, or a quick one. Or Boys, mm. he's all yours. But that sword is mine. <laughs> You guys are fools! You guys are big old fools! <clears throat> yeah! Now we can pretend this didn't happen. But I don't mean to be mean. If you know what I mean. But y'all gonna die. I'm losing my timing. That is uh, very annoying. What's up, bros? But as, uh, that, that's a lot of enemies there. You know? But I'm uh, just wreck all the faces. Like I usually do. Oh, they're all 
all bunch up together. Oh! Get him. Oh! Oh! This one. Too slow. Oh! Oh! You fools! Oh, he healed! Which one is healing? Shit, one of them is healing them! Oh, shit. That one? No. Him. Oh, a kidney punch. There you go. Yeah. You know what? This one's for you. Just you. There we go. Jesus. Alright. Alright, well, that's, uh, that's one side quest done, I guess. Mm-hmm. I've been pra I, I took my time there because I was practicing my combos and using Torgal, so sorry if it took a bit, but you know. Oh, you've done it now. <laughs> sure, one. yeah. Tell me what Exa I've done. Yeah, exactly. What did when I do? When Balkwin finds out you've killed his men, he'll have your head. Or be, be, he only his. wanted that bull of a manservant, the dim one always clinging to Karen's skirts. You Good? weren't even supposed to be here. Who the hell are you anyway? What were you going to do to him? The Borgwin wanted him to get to Karen. I was only supposed to point the lump in the right direction once he arrived in Dalamil. But then you turned up. Well, go on then. If you're going to end me, end me. Well, that's not how we do you're things. You're not worth the effort. Yeah. Now be gone. Before I change my mind. <laughs> Fucking coward! I need to find good. Right now. What? Fucking coward. Coward because I didn't want to kill you? Like, what? Are you, like, more scared of that other person? I, I, I know how to deal with that. Get your filthy paws off me, you naughty painted lout. Stop calling me names! And stop spreading them horrible lies about Nan! Huh. Well, that will be easy enough. For they are not lies. Every last word is true. And she must pay for her crimes in blood! Really? What? Blood! Goose, are you alright? He, he, he's gonna kill Nan! He said she had to pay in blood! After what she did, it is only right. She ruined my life and the lives of countless others. That loathsome harpy's very existence is a crime, and I will not allow it to continue. Goots, was it? I have no quarrel with you, only with your employer. Run along now. You need not pay for her sins. No. No. I don't care what she did. I won't let you hurt Nan. Mm. Promise me you won't hurt her. Or I'll. Or I'll. Or I'll kill you myself! Oof. Goots. Goots. No. Yeah, that's. Enough, all of you! Oh, Karen's here. What's up? Karen. But how did you. You're a sight less clever than you think you are, the pair of you. Did you think I wouldn't notice the two of you slinking off together? Well, the whole thing got me thinking. Who in Dalamil might bear me a grudge? And a certain snivelling shit I ran afoul of in my fairy years came to mind. Though it was just Bogan back then, wasn't it? I thought the years might have taught you some sense. But I see you the same Pants pissing craving you've always been. <laughs> what was it we called you? 
wet legs. Oh, jeez. You. You. Bitch. <laughs> Everything that happened. It was all your fault. And now you'll finally pay for what you did to me. But what did she do? Um. You trust. Yep. Yeah. If you want a piece of Nan, you'll have to go through me. Fuck. <gasps> what happened? You great galoot. Out of the way, I can handle this myself. <laughs> so, wet legs. You remember what you told me when we last met? An eye for an eye. Wise words, Sam. Huh? Wise words. That's what happened to her eye. It's time to collect. All this time. I was like, she's blind and eye. She has a fake eye. Oh. Oh. Sorry to keep you waiting. Is he... Dead? No. But I reckon he wishes he was. It's an easy going through life, one eye shot of a pair. After all, I should know. You don't mean it. Oh, don't tell me you didn't notice. Yeah, I did. Lost it to old wet legs back when we were working the same route. Said I'd stolen from his strong box. I'd done nothing of the sort, mind. But that didn't stop him taking his little revenge. So I took some of my own. Sorry lost everything. His coin, his clients. Always knew he'd be back one day to claim his due. But he crossed a line dragging poor Goots into this. He didn't hurt you, did he? No, Nan. Still got all my arms, see? Legs too. <laughs> but... What if he comes back again? What if he does? First we take the other eye, then we work our way down. He'll learn his lesson soon enough. But something tells me the wet legs has learned it already. Right. Let's get you back to the hideaway. You've attracted quite enough attention already. ta -ra, Clive! So basically, he accused her of doing something. I mean never to cross you, Karen. <laughs> Yeah, so basically, he accused Karen of doing something that she didn't do. He lost everything. And wanted to go after her. Something like that, right? Yeah, let's go to Martha's wrist, I guess. Mata! All right, then we got two quests here. Hello, Martha. How you doing? Clive, we weren't expecting you. I wasn't expecting to be here, but it seems we still owe you a considerable amount of coin for your help with our rebuilding efforts. And though I doubt it's what you were expecting, we were hoping you'd take this as payment. Oh, what does it say? One of three brilliant gemstones acquired and set aside by Sid for a rainy day. Octo now deems that day to have arrived and wishes to use the rubies to pay off three outstanding debts to Lady Karen, Martha, and Martha's Rest. Oh, uh, Martha of Martha's Rest. No, my bad. And Isabel of the Vale. A star ruby. A star ruby? I can't accept this. It's worth at least twice what you owe me. More if you can find yourself the right buyer. Think of the difference as interest. Interest? If word got out I charged that much, no one would ever borrow from me again. Anyway, why are you the one here asking me about this? I'd have expected Otto. Bit much sending the Lord Marquis out to sell your debts, isn't it? The old goat working himself to death again. Something like that. Most days, I think he's the only reason the hideaway's still standing. Same as always, eh? 
Back when the place was nothing but a twinkle in the eye of a recently retired Lord Commander, word is he was the first one Sid reached out to. Probably knew that without his strong arm and level head, the idea would never get off the ground. Sid may have been the face of the hideaway, but Otto's always been the backbone. And when Sid passed away, we were all worried that would be the end of it. That Otto would just give up. His death was hard on everyone. But it must have hit Otto hardest of all. Yeah. But he didn't give up, did he? Quite the opposite, in fact. If I recall, he was the one who nominated you as Sid's replacement. And rallied the rest around you. I reckon what he saw in Sid, he saw in you too. Yeah. And don't we yeah. all? Doesn't hurt that you're half as stubborn and twice as handsome, neither. Ooh, she thinks that, I'm handsome. And you keep good company. Ooh. <laughs> I suppose I do. But still not in bed! Alright, where's the, um... Where's the other dude? Up there. Hey, Ray! Hello, good sir. My lord Marcus, it is you. Then you received my letter. I am Sebastian Rutherford, chief steward of your lord uncle's estate. Oh, hello, good sir. We met once before. How are you doing, good yes, sir? my lord. Thank you for coming. And what was so sensitive that you couldn't put it in writing? A thousand apologies, my lord. I did not mean to offend. I merely... It's all right. Continue. I am here at Martha's Rest, at the behest of your lord uncle, tasked with learning what I am able of the realm's current state of affairs. And what I have learned is grim. The fall of the Mother Crystals has left Storm in a state of utter disarray. Oopsie! The subsequent darkening of the heavens has only made things worse. Akashic attacks, once unthinkable, are now commonplace. The gears of governance have ground to a halt, and without a steady hand on the tiller, the realm threatens to drift into utter chaos. I see. Your lord, uncle, uh, however, believes there is a way to avoid this fate and is determined to see it set in motion. Kill Ultima? That sounds like quite the undertaking. Right. It is. Hence my having enlisted the aid of several colleagues serving the seven high houses. Alas. Alas. I have lost contact with two of those colleagues already. They are both able-bodied and trained in the sword. Yet in these dark times, even that may not prove sufficient to keep a man safe on the road. So you want me to find them? I'll need to know where they went. One I sent to investigate the Republic. The other, the old Imperial capital of Oriflam. That doesn't exactly narrow it down. I suppose I'll start in Dalamil and work my way east. Thank you, my lord. I shall pray for your success and safety. Yep. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Alright, so where do we go? Uh... In Dalamil. Oh. Oh, I should have. I should have gone there first. I didn't know. All right, let's go to Dalaman Inn again. Once again. Mm-hmm. It's not going to be easy finding one man in an entire republic. Let's hope someone here has seen something. Yep. It's a good thing we got quest markers, right? These enough terraces. Let's go, Ambrosia. We need to find some mofos. Someone's got himself in trouble. Mm-hmm. He must be one of them. I don't see your master here. 
So you can start by giving us all the coppers in your purse. Nope. I already told you, I have nothing. <laughs> then maybe we'll take that pretty outfit and the steel you're wearing. Uh, uh, please! These men are trying to rob me! I'll deal with this. Thank you. You that one's master, then? Nope. <laughs> if you kindly pay the coin he owes us, we can pretend you didn't draw your blade on Republican soldiers. Or you can go back to your garrison and I won't report you to your captain. Oh, you're more than welcome to. He hasn't had many visitors since we slit his throat. Oh! Oh! Oh, they're, they're that evil, eh? Yeah! Um, they really deserve to die. the other one. This one there it is good job Turgo good job man you're a good puppy you're a good puppy I practice a bit more <laughs> just a little bit just a little bit I'd expect as much from Hugo's faithful but these were men of the fist mm-hmm much has changed in the Republican army since they lost their rock. They it lost their rock too, eh? Then. Oh. Many times. Oops. <laughs> I was sent here to observe the situation. You're one of Rutherford's men. He sent me to look for you. Well, then you have my thanks. I fancy I could defend myself against one, perhaps two, but a whole regiment. That... I arrived in Dalamil several days ago, but... When I called upon the captain of the local garrison to make inquiries, his men confiscated my effects and locked me in a cell. Oh, shit. The captain is no more. And his men make the rules now. Fortunately, I was able to bribe my way free. Only to be stopped again by those soldiers you so kindly dispatched. What of the Fist Central Command? Surely they wouldn't allow such lawlessness amongst their ranks. I would imagine they are unaware of it. Most of the army has fallen back to the capital and hunkered down behind her walls. Those who weren't recalled now rule the fringes unchecked, answering to no one but themselves. Then it's worse than we imagined. You should return to Rosaria. It's not safe here. Mm. I'll find a caravan heading north. Uh, you won't mind if I borrow one of these soldiers' coin purses? Well, yeah, I can grab one. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Not at all. Well, exactly. See. Now, to find this second associate of Rutherford's. If he was bound for Oriflam, I'll start at North Reach and see if I can pick up his trail. I was just thinking that. It's like, if I were to go and grab that side quest first, you know, we have these other side quests in shit in Dalman Inn. So, ma, I I'm about to guess that. He's gonna be in Northreach because we need to go there because of other side quests, right? So yeah, there you go. This game is very consistent in lo in their positioning of locations for quest-related stuff. There's a lot of road between here and the capital. If that makes sense. Rutherford's man could be anywhere. I don't know. But there were ghosts at the gates, not days ago. All right, we're going to deliver the Star Ruby to Isabel. Those things I said. Am I going to be able to go in there? Finally? Have some fun? Perhaps? Milady, I come bearing gifts. Gifts? Whatever is the occasion. Help me lose my virginity. Oh, my. Clive, you really have outdone yourself. Otto asked me to give it to you. To settle the hideaway's debt with the veil. 
And to compensate you for the time it took us to do so. You disappoint me, Clive. <laughs> I thought you might finally be warming to me. What an idiot. Tell I... Otto he can keep his baubles. I tried to tell him as much the first time around. The man owes me nothing, nor does the hideaway. My contribution to the restoration effort was made freely and willingly. It was the least I could do. You once told me Sid did you a kindness. I'd like to do the same. Please, accept it. For my sake. And for Otto's. For all of us. For all you've done. <sighs> it is rather fetching, isn't it? Very well. <laughs> so, so no lessons in bed? Huh? Otto is lucky to have you, Clive. I doubt anything could ever replace his son. But you and the others at the hideaway are the closest thing he has to family. Otto had a son. Long ago. Yes. Mm. Sid told me Otto lost him when he was just a boy. Wow. And blamed himself for not being able to stop it. Wow. I, I don't know how it happened. Whether there was anything he could have done. But it was clear that it weighed heavily on him. I didn't know. Yeah, me neither. How could you have? I doubt anyone did. Besides Sid, I've never met a man more keen to bear his sorrows in stoic silence. An ill habit, given that both have always been surrounded by friends desperate to help them. <laughs> I'm beginning to see that. Go will want to know the stones were delivered. If he's still with us. <laughs> if Karen didn't kill him. <laughs> oh, all right. So we got to go there. We got to go there. We got to go there. Smooth light butler. Yeah. Okay. So let's go. Since I'm right here, I'm, I'm going to go check out those ones. That way. Did one of them Walker disappear? I should be able to find what I'm looking for somewhere nearby. Right, blue dragons and oh, yeah. yellow flowers. I was forgetting about this quest. To spot. Yep. But where is a Z Dragon? That is the question. Probably gonna pop up once we get close. Oh, that right there. Eddie. This must be the Drake's Mint. Yeah, that Minty. The sky worm. Probably that. All right. I'm assuming it's that. For yours, we got some shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, rats are rats are liver. Some naturalists believe that it is the blue black wabbers proclivity to feed on carrion that results in their livers become so engorged, and that the saints' opponents with which they follow their meals serve to ameliorate this effect. Others claim that it is the blooms themselves which cause the damage. The wavers being so taken with the flowers' taste that they cannot. Resist. I think that's everything Molly needs to resurrect her. Yes, let's teleport here. This is faster. I didn't let Ply finish what he was saying. 
But I'm sure he had nice things to say. What is that? There's nobody here. Oh yeah, there is. Hey, you all right, bro? What happened here? If you're with the others, they've already relieved me of my belongings. Let me go get it. I'm not. I'm looking for someone who was sent here by a man named Rutherford. And then you found him. I am Alastair Rockford, attendant to the Lady Ariane of House Wellesley. Of the seven high houses of Rosaria. Mm. It's been a long time since last I saw my great aunt. Is she well? My Lord Marquis? Uh, yes. Yes, she is. The Lady Dowager has granted me leave to assist your Uncle Stuart. I was on my way back from the old capital when I saw some villagers being robbed on the road here. Bandits. Mm -hmm. They looked more like field hands, but it didn't matter in the end. I did what I could to help the victims, but all it earned me was a pommel to the temple. Which way mm. did they go? South, toward the gate. All right. I'll take care of them. Yeah. Founder knows I've met enough of their kind. You head back to Northreach. Visit the Vale. Tell them I sent you. Thank you. I shall. Founder be your shield. All right, let's go. Ambrosia. Oh, hello. Ready, go. Yeah. They just couldn't resist, could they? Thank you for the ride, Amb Ambrosia. It was very far. Thank you. Boom. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, over there! The one's off. He spotted me, eh? Too slow, bro. Too much slow, bro. Oh, oh, oh! What, 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 what happening here? Just get wrecked, bro. Oh, oh, that. Oh, oh, here. Oh, the box. Mm, so tasty. It's over. Bam. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, good shit. Hey, we're really close to leveling up too. Very nice. Make for the town while you can. There may be more bandits nearby. You don't need to tell me twice. Many thanks, traveler. This looks to be all of them. I thought I told you to make for the Vale. <laughs> and stand by as ill might befall the heir to the Ducal throne. It's just Clive. And I'm fine. Which is more than can be said for you. I will survive. Strange that the garrison wouldn't intervene in such a brazen attack so close to their gates. Yeah. The garrison have their hands full inside the city. Some days they don't even send out patrols. There are few hands mm. left to work the fields, and even fewer to transport the grain. The market stalls are nearly bare, and the price for what remains is exorbitant. Yeah. It's not uncommon to see a fight break out over a crust of bread. When I said the ones who attacked me didn't have the look of bandits, I meant it. They were probably just desperate. Oh. Rockford, listen to me. If you are to continue your investigation, you first need to seek the attention of a healer. I... Of course. I shall return to Northreach right away. But 
Allow me to thank you first. Had you not happened along, I... Don't thank me. Thank Rutherford. It was he who sent me. Yeah. I suppose he'll be wondering where I've got to. I shall send a pistolus as soon as I'm able. Good day. My uncle certainly has his work cut out for him. If it isn't already too late. I should go and tell Rutherford that his colleagues are still in one piece. Yeah. So, the problem with all of this is, um... Ultima needs to die. Right? Oops, wrong button. Uh... Oh, like the, oh, okay. I was like, how do I zoom in, zoom out? Okay. Yeah! Things and reasons and whatnot. Good times! Good times in the Maritimes! I see you're still here. The rest's location affords a constant flow of traders, and with it, a constant flow of information. Speaking of which, I received word from both my associates. They have resumed their investigations, thanks to you. I only happen to be in the right place at the right time. They both seem to think the realm's prospects rather grim. That happens a lot. I am afraid that grim would be putting it lightly. Right Storm place, is right in time. Crisis, and if we are to free her, we must work quickly. And we must work together. Such is your Lord Uncle's wish, as it is mine. Mm hmm. Oh, our first Bahamut accessory reduces flare breath cooldown by 2.7 seconds. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Very nice. Well, the gang is still with me. All right, so we're done here. Let's go to the hideaway to turn in all of those side quests. Finally. Let's go straight first. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. It seems the hideaway has lost its... So, did you have that word with Tomes then? I did, and he was as helpful as ever. He told me exactly where to look, in fact. And what precisely will I be cooking up? Or is it better not to know? Blueback wyvern liver. And, uh, a herb known as Saint's Bonnet. Ah, wyvern livers, was it? Well, at least it weren't actual worms, I suppose. Yeah, that would've been weird. Now then. You stay right where you are. I've got some cooking to do. Let's hope these grand old chefs of yore knew what they were on about. I hope it's not going to be purple again. Right, it looks fried, right? And here we have it. Fried Mortress of Skyworm. Ivan's offered to make sure it's fit for consumption. Well, I say offered. He is good <clears throat> as begged. Of course and he did. rightly so. Is there any higher honor than partaking in a slice of culinary history? <laughs> you okay in there, bud? You all right? Have a good time? It's going to be the same so thing. Not fit for consumption, then. Oh, yeah, it's, a, it's the same reaction. What witchery is this? Witchery? The crackle of the crust gives way to an almost violent richness. Yet, it is the, <laughs> the piquant kiss of the saint's bonnet that tames this savage <laughs> dish. It is a tour de force, a force of nature, even. A maelstrom of flavor and sensation. A graceful beast emerging from centuries of slumber. 
I think he likes it. This guy's very po well, poetic. I can't quite tell with all that nonsense he's talking. Yeah, very poetic. From, I reckon you for might food. be right. It was decent then, I take it. Decent? It's remarkable. And I defy any man to say a word to the contrary. Sid, might I suggest that you command a party of your finest men and women to procure a dozen blueback wyverns forthwith? I'll give it some thought. Oh, I like these quests. This is twice that we had this, and the, the guy's reaction is just... Oh, man. Hey, the level up! I knew we were close. Very good. Level 39. Hmm. Very nice indeed. Hmm. And you know what I did notice as well? That's right. We do have some new orchestra. Which is... Where is it? Oh, on the shoulders of giant. Mmm, battle music. Mmm. Did I did we listen to this one? Betrayal. Okay, anyways. Seems the hideaway's lost its appetite. Oh, Karen, yes. What's up? Nothing like a dish of cold vengeance to foul a gut. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sorry, Nan. I, I didn't mean to make things worse. I just thought I had to protect you. Like you've protected me. Aye, well, someone had to. Your parents certainly didn't give a whip for your well-being. Reckon the both of us would be worse off if I'd not taken you on. You've always been me right eye, Goots. And I'd have you stay that way. So don't you dare go looking for trouble again. Well, I will. If you ever need help, I'll do it again and again. And you can't stop me. Oh, he's gross. Ah, you <laughs> big lump. <laughs> Fine. Play the hero if it makes you happy. Thanks, Nan. I won't let you down. There's nothing he wouldn't do for you. That's as may be. But if he's ever to make his own way in life, he'll need to start looking out for himself as well. Till then, he'll need people to watch his back, just like you did in Dalamil. Don't think I didn't appreciate that. Of course. His family. Stop it. You make me one good eye, mister. I don't go thinking that'll do you any favours. A potion today will cost you the same as it did yesterday. I really enjoy... One thing that they, I found that they have done amazing in this game. Like, just completely... Oh, wow. Let me hold my thought for a moment there. According to Karen, a sensor packed with herbs and ambergris can be ward off, can ward off everything from insects to the plague, protect a home from thieves and demons, and heal any number of ailments, all while being love and fortune. So you can read. Congratulations. Oh, that was, that was one of her best lines. <laughs> Karen, so you can read. Congratulations. <laughs> oh. Yes, yeah, so what I was saying is one thing that they've done very amazing when you look at NPCs in other games, right? There's a handful of them. You have a handful of NPCs that is kind of either to one of the main party members or something, main characters that they're related to and stuff like that, but it's all their separate ways. This game, when you think about it, you got Karen, you got Goots, Otto, Vivian, Mid, Sid, Jill. Joshua, Yote, you like you take well maybe not Yote in, in the sense of what I'm about to say, but like you take all of these characters that are all here, all in the hideaway, right? Like even the friggin' merchant, Blackthorn, the blacksmith, everyone. You got the lore master, right? The loremsman or whatever how he calls him, Harp Harpocrates. Usually these 
like you go to merchants. Oh, hey, what are you buying? All right, and they're just there. They have like a couple lines, but they've in integrated all of them so much into the story. But not only that, they just make them feel like they're all part of one big family and one big group that has the same vision. Even in Martha's Rest, Northreach, Lost Wing, right? I don't think they've ever been able to do something at this extent in any other Final Fantasy games. And this is just amazing. It's just great. All right. So now we have. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Like these are. It's very nice. All right, let's go turn in the last side quest. Were it not for the Undying's aid, I would be long dead. Grant them your trust, and they will repay you with their loyalty. Okay. I I I think I can do that. Did you see that? Yeah. Tell me you saw that. Hello, goat. Goat. Still alive, I see. So Lady Karen accepted the ruby. Ah, oh, about that. Uh, I tried my best, but she was just too stubborn to take it. She threw it right back in my face, in fact, and told me I could stick my stupid stone where the sun don't shine. Karen refused payment. I hope it wasn't something I said. I'm sure you were as tactful as ever. Let me see what I can do. Oh, wonderful. I hope you have better luck than I did. Yeah. You gotta appreciate that all three of them, right? Isabel, Karen, Martha. They invested in the future, not profit. You gotta, you have to respect that. Welcome to the patron's whisper. Come to claim your just desserts. Ooh, and a new orchestra roll and an amber. Nice. You earned this. Thank you. Well, yeah, we just got an orchestra rule. I do want to check out Blackthorn because I knew there were certain things that we could do, but I think we were missing certain items. And I don't remember quite what those items were. But before that, we Seems must listen right to this new orchestra. Right. It's good times. Right there. Where was it? A rose is a rose? Hmm. Yes. Yes. This feels like Clive's song. I don't remember. I don't remember what Clive's theme is, but you know. Lady Karen. Go tells me you weren't happy with our offer. Would you prefer the debt was repaid in coin? What debt? I don't recall lending any of you lot me hard earned gill. I may have tossed a talent or two in the Ardaway's coffers. But those were donations, and you can hardly call it charity if you go asking for it back. Of course not. But one good turn deserves another. And our circumstances have changed. Surely you wouldn't shun the gratitude of a pauper who happened to have become a prince. Oh, so you're a prince now, are you? Fine. But I'm selling it and taking what I'm owed, then you're getting the rest whether you like it or not. Where'd you even get this? A decent trader might nab a thousand talents for a star ruby. A canny one, meanwhile, might claim it were nicked from the belt of Sid the Outlaw himself and ask twice as much. Might be I already have a buyer in mind. Might be you even know her. The fine continental maid whose beauty is only eclipsed by a guile in commerce. You won't mind, would you? Not at all. Just be sure to tell her that it's always a pleasure doing business. Isabel? I hear you ended up delivering all three stones. Thanks to this lump. I sometimes wonder what I pay you for. Speaking of which, I, uh... Uh, I still haven't been paid last month's wages. 
Oh. <laughs> so you remember what's owed to you then? Get your ass behind that disc of yours and don't get up before those ledges are square. Right away. <laughs> Poor guy. At least give him some food. I've seen that before. Yeah, yeah. Plenty of times. It was the only goblet Sid ever used. Either out of habit, or because the filthy soul couldn't be bothered to find a clean one. I knew so little about him. Like most people. Martha and the Dame both seem to have fond memories of him. <laughs> I bet they do. How long did you know Sid before he... Before he died. Twenty summers, give or take. Back in the day, I was a purser on a trade ship, which is where I met him. He bought passage to, I oh, forget where, and having nothing better to do on the long nights, we set up drinking island rum till the morning bell dragged me back to my duties. Quit my post not long after that, on account of making a fine maiden's belly fat. But me and Sid stayed close. Promising we'd one day sail the seas again. That was... before fate stepped in and said she was having none of it. The magic woke inside my son soon after his first name day and there was no hiding his neck. Couldn't you and your family have... My family... were the ones who summoned the constable. Wanted the monster taken away. Oh. I couldn't turn my back on him. Forget what I felt. And I couldn't for the life of me understand how they could. Luckily, Sid was of the same mind as me. It was him who stood beside me when all I wanted was to tear the whole world down. Him who cried for me when I had no tears left of my own. Him who swore he'd do everything he could to stop it from happening again. And he was true to his word, too. Left the Royal Army once and for all. His ranks, his ribbons, gone. Just like that. Threw away everything he had. All to right a wrong that no one else had the courage to face. I knew then I'd follow that man to the ends of the earth. Sid! I know it's just a flashback, but come on. Still, right? He was always too clever for his own good, was Sid. Saw the world for what it really was, while the rest of us were content to go along with the lie we were shown. And it can't have been easy bearing that burden alone. stop him he never lost faith in what he believed was right and that gave us faith in him faith he'd steer us true so I swore on myself that I'd always be right behind him ready to catch the stubborn sod if ever he should fall even do that. Ignore me. Just the ramblings of a tired old man. Mm, you're fine, Otto. You're a good man. Leave that lot. I'll tidy it up in a bit. This... This is Sid's handwriting. Dear Otto. I may be drunk, but I wanted you to know this place would be fucked without you. Love you, you old grumpy old sod.
This note. Hmm? What about it? Sid was right. Without you, we all be lost. He should have bloody well said so then. Just once. Before he went. But then, why would he? Him, or anyone? I'd only have told him to piss off. You're wrong, though. Both of you. It was never just me keeping the hideaway afloat. It was all of us. I just shoved people in the right direction. I barely seem to be able to do that anymore. No, nah, that's all right. <laughs> Would you rather go with the helm? <laughs> well, maybe I've got a few more years left in me. <laughs> I'm going to hold you to that, Otto. Before you go... Sid would have wanted you to have this. This is going in our chambers. But that's... This will do me just fine. Thanks. For the ray of sunshine, I'll see if I can't pay you back. Already have. Well, you know how at the start I was like complaining, like, oh, all these side quests, I just want to get the game done. I take it back. This was a good one. According to Otto, Sid never once washed his goblet, despite using it every day for boat wine and small beer. I won't have it said that I'm a poor host, Sid. Displayed in Clive's chambers. Yeah, that was... Let me uh, check those out, just real quickly. Yeah... Yep. Yeah. We're getting more now, eh? Says Goblet. Miraculously undamaged in the attack on the old hideaway. Otto held onto the featureless clay cup to remind him of his lost friend before giving it to Clive, knowing that Sid would have wanted the proud bearer of his legacy to have it. On our own terms. I regret that both you and the Lum had to get all tangled up in the wicked weave of my sordid past, but thanks to your meddling, I was finally able to put to rest matters that were left too long to fester. And with that finally gone, might be I can sit back and enjoy this new world of yours. You're so keen on creating. One don't need a pair of eyes to see the good you've done. Karen. This is probably the nicest thing that she said. Duty, my lord Marquess, in your absence shall I watch over my new charges, affording them every protection I am able. I only ask that you do the same for his grace, Yote. Yep. Oh yeah, that's right. Wait. Are, are we done all of the side quests though? Right? Yeah, we have Cloak and Dagger. Main scenarios progress and completed quests, yeah. Active quest. Yeah, we don't have any active quests anymore. So all that is left to do now is for us to go back to Tabor and finally move on the main quest. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't, uh, yeah. I'm very happy that in the end I decided to do the side quest because we ended up doing some very nice ones. Yeah. But we will continue the main story and head on over to the free cities of Canada in the next video. Sweat up!
It's fucking weird.